Hello, my gorgeous Aries. This is Debs, and this is your reading for June 2022. Guys, we're in June. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, the summer is here at last, um, so it's all really good news. And I'm here in the south of France. I've been dying for the summertime when everything kind of livens up. Anyway, Aries, um, the vision I got that I've just come out of was of someone going through their laptop filing photographs into a zip file, a secure file. But they were doing it so that they weren't reminded on a day-to-day -day basis of their past. Now, it could be Aries that there are things that happen that you don't want to be reminded of. It could be that you just ended a relationship and you're at the tail end of tying up loose ends. Maybe you're revamping your property that you might have lived in with this person, redecorating, complete change inside. Maybe you are passing back a few items that you had of this person's that you kept, maybe. You're wrapping up what Michael is telling me, the never-ending story. You're finishing it. You've written the last chapter, you're closing the book, and you're filing the book away in a secure place, out of view. Michael's telling me that's very important. That in closing out this chapter of your life, this phase of your life, you make sure that none of that is in view. So this is you maybe getting rid of a screenshot of someone that you had feelings for, that you might have had on your computer, on your phone. You're just filing it away. There are challenging memories, there are happy memories, but you are closing out a cycle. And Michael's saying it's very important that you completely wipe the slate clean. You'll never forget this person. There are times that you had that were wonderful. There were many that weren't wonderful. But it really is time for you to step forward onto this new cycle. Time to get off this merry-go-round, Aquarius maybe even psychologically, and move forward. That's what we have. So the never-ending story is ending. Using a selenite to help me connect through with Archangel Michael and Divine Source. The deck is the Gilded Tarot, Chira Marchetti. I'm feeling <sighs> emotional. I'm feeling a little bit all over the place. Maybe areas you feel as if you've lost your footing. Michael's showing me somebody tripping up on a pavement slab that's sticking up on a walkway. You may find you're a little bit ungrounded. You're finding your feet again. May feel slightly uncomfortable. You could have gone from being a husband or a wife to being single. It could be that you lived with this person for a very long time and now you are moving out. It could be that this is a childhood friend that you have been dating on and off for a long time, but you two are on different pages. Maybe you two live in different places. This is you deciding, I can't do this anymore. But to enable myself to move forward successfully in another direction, I really have to close this out. You're being stern with yourself and it's not easy, Aries. It's not easy. You may think about this person on a day-to-day -day basis still. But you're determined to leave it behind and to look for pastures new, okay? I'm hearing Archangel Ariel, Archangel Azriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel. I'm seeing someone tear out a page of a diary, scrumple it up and throw it in the bin. Yeah, Michael showed me a clock later on. They go to the bin, they take out the scrumpled piece of paper, they smooth it back out and they put it in a book. Aries, you're realising that you don't want to get rid of all the memories that you shared with this person because they were part of your life, part of your journey. But you do want to leave that chapter behind. This is you reaching a place of peace about this. I think that's the biggest message. You're reaching a place of peace. Gone is the hurt, the upset, the anger, if there was any. 
And this is you realising that in order to move on, you have to be at peace with what happened. To be at peace with the fact that this was not supposed to be happily ever after. Because you learned lessons with this person. You may have grown up with this person. But it may be this is somebody that you needed to spend a certain amount of your life with in order for you to expand and grow. Or for some of you to realise that you needed to be with somebody else to expand and grow. Maybe you had dreams and aspirations in this person. Maybe. Was very happy toddling along the road that they always have been. And maybe you wanted to start a business, travel abroad, relocate. Maybe you felt this person in some way held you back. You're breaking free. You're breaking free, Aries. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Two of Pentacles. So you now have a clean slate. I'm seeing somebody wiping off a blackboard. You're looking at a brand new phase of life. What am I going to do now? Where am I going to go? Who do I want to connect with? It's an exciting time. There's nervous energy. You could be very, very busy tying up loose ends. Maybe for some of you, you are literally considering a big move to another area. For others of you, you're juggling money. I feel that for some of you, you believe that there is a potential of a big opportunity that is looming on the horizon and you're considering whether or not to head in that direction. I'm hearing, I want to know more about this opportunity. I just want to find out more. You're not going to rush into this. I don't think you're going to do anything impulsive, Aries, although it's a very like you. It's very like you. You may have learned a lesson to hold back, to be patient, to just take your time. This is an opportunity that you are considering. I'm hearing with a smile on your face. OK. Hmm. Six of Cups. You may be deciding to head back towards someone who I'm hearing felt like home. They just felt like home. You could be returning to someone that you knew in a past life, someone you had a strong connection with. It could be that for some of you, you may be wanting to spend a few days going back to your roots. Maybe for some of you, you've left a relationship and you're spending some time with parents even. For others of you, you'll try to figure out what you want. For some of you, you've been deliberating. Do I want children? Do I not? For others of you, you've been thinking, if I moved to another area and I have children with someone, I don't want to move too far away because I'm never going to see them. So however this resonates for you, but there is change on the horizon after closing out this chapter. In the past, with the devil in the reverse, for some of you, you left behind a Capricorn or you moved out of a toxic situation. That enabled you to transform your life. You could have potentially have moved towards a Scorpio or you embraced this transition. It was frightening to do it, but I think you realised that once you were in the process of doing it, you felt a sense of relief. In your thoughts, the Empress. Now, for some of you, you're wanting to connect with a Taurus or a Libra or someone who embodies the energy of an Empress. For some of you, you're wondering whether or not someone that you're thinking about wants children. If I go back to this person, do they want children? Or maybe for some of you, you're thinking, I know this person has children. Maybe you're heading towards somebody who's divorced with children. Do I want to take that on board? There's definite deliberation here. And that is sandwiched between the past or children and an empress. Very interesting. In the immediate future, the four of cups. 
you're going to be turning your back on an opportunity of being with someone that you're just not sure about. It could be that someone reaches out to you, somebody gets in contact with you, somebody realises that you're single. But you may make a decision to move forward. Not to allow this person into your life for some reason. In your fears, the nine of pentacles. If you're thinking of somebody from the past, Aries, I don't know why, I want to keep calling you Aquarius. If you're thinking about somebody from the past, it may be that you're nervous. Because if you're juggling two pentacles and you're wanting to approach somebody sat in the nine of pentacles, you may be nervous. That you're not on the same page. That this person is going to expect more from you, maybe on a material basis, than you can actually provide. I wouldn't worry about that. Mm. In the environment is somebody rushing in because they want to win you. But this is somebody a little bit self-orientated. Somebody a bit pushy. Someone who really doesn't want you to be with anyone else. But it's a bit of a harsh energy, Aries. This is someone who simply does not want you to move on without them. You're not going anywhere. You're supposed to be with me. You are my person. It could be you're dealing with somebody, Aries, who's a bit obsessed with you. It could be that you know of this person, or you may have dated them in the past, and you're realising that their energy is not what you're looking for. You're looking for someone softer, calmer, someone more stable, someone who is not going to act out of self-interest. So you are turning your back on this person sat in the Five of Swords. They're not going to like it, Aries. But this is a resolute decision. I'm not going to change my mind. In your hopes, King of Swords, Aries, for some of you, you're hoping to wrap up a legal situation. For others of you, you're simply hoping to be very strong and stand your ground and speak your truth, maybe to this person. Whatever you say, you're going to be honest. It may be blunt. It may be a bit sharp. But I think if this is someone that's been hanging on to you or really wanting to be with you or not wanting you to move away from the area or move on, you're going to be very open with your thoughts and feelings. I'm hearing you're not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm really sorry. I know this is what you want, but I just don't feel this is going to work. I'm hearing end of conversation. I don't want to revisit this again. It's done. Okay. In the outcome, Four of Pentacles... For some, you're hanging on to your money. So this could be a time where you are rearranging your life, realigning yourself, getting yourself grounded, getting comfortable with being by yourself. Or you're hanging on to the hope of being with someone else. And I can't help but realise whoever this is, that you are looking directly at this empress. I think you're hanging on to the hope of being with somebody that you feel embodies the energy of the empress and potentially the nine of pentacles. But you haven't reached out yet. I think what you're planning on doing is to sort out your finances, sort out where you're going to live, maybe sort out a new career, tie up loose ends from the past and then reapproach this person when you're feeling more comfortable when you're stable, when you're a bit more relaxed, when you've got yourself balanced. I feel that's your game plan. But we've got someone else coming in here, Aries, that I think you're going to push away. You're simply not interested. This is somebody who may want you for status, for financial reasons. They may just think that you're highly attractive. But this is someone who somehow is self-orientated. And it's not doing anything for you whatsoever, Aries. It's as if, you know, you can see this person coming a mile off and you think, oh, no, 
please don't reach out. Please don't come towards me. I really am not interested. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm seeing someone on a terrace with a fan because it's hot. They're kind of trying to swipe away this fly that keeps buzzing around and the fly just won't leave them alone. Maybe this is someone irritating Aries. Maybe you've tried to insinuate to this person, maybe for quite a while, that I'm so sorry, but I just don't think this is going to work. You're lovely, you're very attractive, but I just don't think this is for me. Aries, if this person did not want to take no for an answer, and they may be coming in again, particularly if they know that you have totally closed out another chapter, you may have to be blunt, okay? You may just have to tell this person, yeah, no. <laughs> yes, I know you're interested, but not for me, okay? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, you have left a job, moved, sold your house, ended a partnership. Yeah. It was challenging, but you were on the move. Knight of Wands, you're on the move. Two of Swords, you're blocking your emotions. You could have had emotion for someone, but it wasn't working and you decided to head off in another direction. Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're blocking someone that was cheating on you, who was sneaky, who lied to you, who deceived you. You're not having that anymore. Nope. It could have caused the ending of the relationship that you're now leaving behind. OK, but I think you are resolute in wanting to just go. Now, Aries, we have the King of Cups. Now, this could be you having love for yourself. It could be Aries that you have deep feelings for someone, if I'm connecting with a masculine energy. But you're not quite sure they reciprocated. With the Ace of Pentacles... This could be you working on yourself, self-love, you're balancing your money, you're waiting for a lump sum to come in, okay? Or this is you in love with someone, wanting to offer someone a commitment, but with judgment in the reverse, you haven't quite made that decision yet. I'm hearing it's hanging in the balance. You're considering it. I think the divine is saying not that it's not the right decision to make, not that it would be a bad judgment call, but simply it's not time. What they're saying, Aries, is you've been through a lot. You need to balance your energies and then potentially move forwards towards the person that you have on your mind. Now is not the right time. It's not the right time. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have our story. Checking the camera. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Thank you for your lovely comments, guys. They are amazing. Okay, let's just dip into this. Aries, um, two of pentacles. <laughs> My nails. Two of pentacles. Now, this is you weighing up the pros and cons of a big decision. Going back to somebody from the past, you may be wondering whether or not you want kids, whether or not your person that you want to move towards wants children. If you're moving towards somebody who is divorced and has children, you're wondering, is that for you? Or you're literally thinking about getting on this ship, but I think you're trying to realign your finances before you do that. You are, as I've said looking at returning to someone from the past or you're looking at whether or not children's going to make you happy. Maybe for some of you, male or female, you've been wondering, do I want children or not? Is it really what I want? Is it going to make me happy to be a mom, to be a dad? Or you're wanting to return to a simpler life. For some of you, you're returning to your roots. You're going back to where you grew up. You're spending a bit of time with your parents, maybe. It can mean so much for so many of you, but you seem to be making a decision about the Six of Cups. In the past, with the devil in the reverse, you got out of what was a very toxic situation. There could have been issues to do with infidelity within a long-term relationship, and it just became too heavy. 
There may have been problems with a Capricorn and you just decided to let it go. After that time, when you closed out the chapter, you didn't just close it out, you realised that this actually enabled you to transform your life. Maybe for some of you, you'd moulded yourself, even your career, to what your person wanted you to do. I have to have a career in this industry because my person wants to save money for kids so we can have a nicer house, so we can buy a new car. You may have found that a lot of your major life decisions was based around what this person wanted, not what you wanted. And this is you realising that not only are you out of maybe a bit of a controlling relationship, maybe this is all about ego and pride and materialism, the devil is not fun, right? Not only are you out of that, but you can transform other areas of your life as well. Maybe you decide, I want to have a career that I enjoy. I'm not going to be earning that much money, but I do want to be involved with something that I really do believe in. It's creative. Maybe for some of you, this will be a creative career. So you're juggling money or you're making a decision. For some of you, you're wanting to move to a new area. Maybe you just really want to put the past in the past. I don't want to live in the same area as my ex because I may bump into them because it's easy for them to travel to see me. You are wanting to completely disconnect. But I do feel that you're going to be holding a certain amount of memories very close to your heart. You're going to be locking those memories away because some of them were wonderful. What you're thinking about, Aries, is the energy of the Empress. Now, for some of you, if you're a feminine, this is you. Self-care, self-nurture, I need to get my confidence back. For others of you, if you're a masculine energy, and I have to admit, I do feel as if I'm connecting with a masculine energy. This is someone that you want to approach, somebody who is sat in Empress energy. This is not someone who is necessarily much older. This is not somebody who has necessarily become a mum. This is not somebody who may be divorced. This is simply somebody who has learned all the lessons of all of the four queens and they are ready for commitment. They are kind and caring and nurturing. They're intelligent. They're wise. This is somebody extremely strong. This is somebody who doesn't suffer fools gladly. This is somebody who has managed to keep an open heart despite the challenges and obstacles that they have had to endure. So this is the person you're thinking of, I believe, returning to. This could be somebody from your past. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Four of Cups in Aries energy, please, in the immediate future? Okay, I'm hearing I'm hearing the 12th of July. He's pointing forward to ooh, the 18th of July. So we've only got a period of six days, guys. So this is mid-July. You've got someone who is going to be, I'm hearing, pursuing you relentlessly. Got to sort my nails out. Five of swords. This is someone who is not going to take no for an answer. This is someone who is going to be moving towards you absolutely determined to win you over. This is someone who can be a bit self-orientated because this is somebody who really doesn't care who they hurt. I'm going to win. I'm going to move towards my Aries. I want to be with Aries. Your reaction is, I don't think so. I don't think so. You're turning your back on this person. You know that this is potentially someone that you could have had a big love with. Okay. But you're looking at that cup and you're thinking, I don't really know if this is going to work. So I'm not accepting it. I don't want to do it. Not for me. I think this person is going to be upset. But I think that you've learned a lot of lessons, Aries. Before, you may have accepted this person into your life thinking, well, what the hell? I'm single. Why not? Let's just see. But you're very careful now who you spend time with, who you give your energy to. You may have got yourself caught up in some complicated situations that weren't to your benefit, that caused you hassles and pain. And this is you thinking, yeah, I'm not going to be jumping straight in anytime soon with anyone. 
you're saying no and you're turning your back on this person. We'll find out who this is when we clarify. What you're fearing, I think, is making a decision to return to whoever the Empress is, who is also sat in the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this could be somebody who is strong, stable, caring, abundant. This is somebody who has a lot to offer, Aries. It may be that you're slightly intimidated by this person. It may be that you feel they've got a lot to offer and you don't. You could be fearing that they are financially stable and you're just juggling two pentacles. Whatever this is, you're fearing that this is somebody who may actually prefer to be independent. Hmm. In your hopes, King of Swords, so you could literally be hoping to wrap up <laughs> some legalities, okay? This is you hoping to speak to a divorce lawyer. This is you hoping to get a new job. This is you hoping to sell your property, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, real estate, whatever this is, or even buy a new property. You are hoping to seek advice, I think, from the King of Swords, or if this is you, you're hoping to speak your truth. You're hoping to have the courage and confidence to hold your head high and speak very plainly. So there is no misinterpretation, is what I'm hearing. And it could be to this person. I just have to tell it to them straight so there is no misunderstanding. I am not interested. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Because it may be that this person doesn't feel as if you really mean it. OK, so this is you thinking to yourself, yeah, I've just got to be open and honest about this. All right, guys, four of pentacles. You're hanging on to those pentacles, but I feel that you're actually hanging on to the hope of being with this empress. Because the way the cards lay, this is the energy that I saw. Which is you looking at this empress, hanging on to the hope of being with this empress. And maybe also needing to improve your finances because we have you moving from a two of pentacles to a four of pentacles and hanging on to that. I think you are hoping to get yourself rebalanced out after the ending of a relationship in order to return to someone that you have put in empress energy. Who you see as your empress. Clarification. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is you ending a long-term relationship, ending a career. This could be you wrapping up the details. Knight of Wands. So this is done and you moved quickly on. And with the Two of Swords, you may have tried to push down your emotions. It could have been a very emotional time. But you didn't want to be wrapped up anymore with a Seven of Swords energy. Whether this is somebody who cheated on you, whether or not you were very unhappy, so you did a few things that you shouldn't have done. You're no longer sitting in that energy or coping with somebody sat in that energy. No more. So here we have you. King of Cups. Now this is a lot of love for self. This is also you having love for someone that you want to offer a commitment to. But the divine is saying, Aries, it's not the time. We want you to figure out what you want from your life, first of all. We want you to get financially and emotionally balanced. Don't rush in. It's not time. Okay? So that is what you're thinking about. All right, people. Let's jump in to clarify. And do forgive my voice, guys. I haven't been well, actually, recently. And um, so I'm holding myself up a little bit right now. <clears throat> so do forgive my voice. Okay. Aries. Michael, what is the Two of Pentacles crossed with the Six of Cups? Thank you. The Hangman. So this is you thinking about a situation that you were stuck in. You could be deliberating as to whether or not to go back to a Pisces. So you've got the hangman energy, which is Pisces. It could be you wondering whether or not if you go back to your past, 
back to your roots, go back to where you grew up, all that type of thing. Are you going to feel stuck in the past? You could be thinking about that. OK. All right. Wow, the tower. So it may be that you went through either some kind of spiritual awakening or there was a situation that was blown up relating to a Pisces, a fellow Aries or a Scorpio. Something that you were stuck in and you have been wondering whether or not I'm hearing it was all meant to be. OK, you may have felt Aries that whatever the situation was, was totally out of your control. And you may have wondered whether or not it was the divine who had a hand in blowing up a situation that was toxic. You might have been contemplating that. Was this supposed to end because I wasn't with the right person? You may have been contemplating that. OK, wow. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So this is the third party situation. This is a one night stand. This is an affair that someone had, either you or your partner. And so the relationship crashed. OK, and now you have decisions to make. Yes, two of wands, two of pentacles, two of wands. You have a decision to make about someone or about moving to a different area. Ship and water. We've got someone on the road here considering two paths, two roads, two areas. So you could be thinking about relocation now that something has completely crashed and burned. Michael, what happened in the past with the devil in the reverse? Oh, temperance. So there may have been issues with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius, or simply you were waiting and coasting, waiting and coasting, waiting and coasting for someone to change, for someone to step up, for somebody to take charge, for somebody to realise I'm hearing that they love you. Nothing happened. You were waiting interminably. And for you, it just became draining, stressful, depressing. You might have felt on your own. And you decided to put this to a close. You just decided to end it. You just decided to end it. Yeah, the chariot. Could have been a Cancerian involved, but you just decided, don't want to do this. Now we've got the chariot, so you may have waited for somebody to move forward with you who lived a distance from you and they didn't do it. This is somebody who was permanently making excuses for not doing it. No, I can't move to your area because it's not the right time, because my family member needs me, because I'm worried I won't get another job, because I can't afford it. OK, endless excuses for not actually making the effort to move forward with you. And you just got fed up. You just got fed up with it. Yeah. And you thought, OK, all right, I'm going to have to move on from that and disconnect. So after that time, you moved into the energy of the death card. OK. Oh, six of pentacles in the reverse. Now, it could be that you tried to end a relationship, but you didn't want to give someone maybe a fair settlement. Yes. Because you were put in a very unbalanced situation. I mean, this could have been really complicated. But if you, you two had decided to be together, possibly married, and then your work took you away to another area, but they said to you that they didn't want to join you and kept making excuses, but you kept feeding them money, it may be that you just felt that you were doing all the work and they just weren't putting in the effort. They were happy sitting being codependent on you. You might have got very annoyed about that, particularly if you found out, Aries, that they were being unfaithful. <laughs> OK, so this is you ending a relationship, but saying to them, well, I'm ending the relationship because I was in a toxic situation with you and I can give you a certain amount of money, but I'm not willing to give you half my assets. No. And it may be for some of you, you had to say to this person, I was giving you money for many, many years. You've had more than your fair share from me. So why should I give you even more? But it became very difficult. And I think there were disagreements about this. I think there were disagreements. OK. 
Okay, so there could have been toing and froing across the World Wide Web, emails going backwards and forwards, maybe lawyers' emails. It could be, again, this person does live a distance with the world. But I think you were shutting out the cycle. But it was difficult, Aries, because... I think you had deep feelings once for this person, but I think you were very upset at the way they treated you. And it may be that you had to stand your ground and say, look, it's over and I'm giving you this amount of money, but I can't give you everything. I don't know. Yeah. Ten of cups in the reverse. So it may be that you said to this person, look, I'm going to sell a property and you can have half the proceeds of the property. Or you simply moved into formal separation, which then possibly led to a full divorce. But it might be that you wanted to just separate initially. And then it may be that your other half put pressure on you to divorce because they wanted a financial payout. They wanted to be totally free after whatever went down, went down. I think you tried to hang on to just being separated legally from your person, not actually divorced. But I think eventually you gave in because you wanted your freedom. So, Michael, what is the energy of the Empress? I think you are wanting to return to this person. Yes, interesting. Eight of Cups in reverse. Now, this is you totally moving on. This is you having never emotionally detached from this person. This could be an ex. This could be somebody that you knew a while ago. But you can't move on from them. Okay, Three of Pentacles. You want to work in partnership with them. You want to rebuild the foundation. This is nothing to do with the person that you detach from. This is somebody else. Yeah, Michael's saying yes. Okay. This is somebody else. You're thinking of working in partnership with them. Yes, Knight of Swords. There's going to be straightforward communication from you. What is Aries going to communicate? That you potentially have got divorced. For some of you, you're going to say you had to leave a Taurus. For others of you, you may even say to this person that you detach from your religion. You detach from a community of people. You lost your job. You had to move to another area. Whatever this is, you're opening up to this person. But you may be wanting to say to this person, given what I've been through, I don't ever want to get married again. I'm sorry. If you want to get married in the future, I never want to get married again. It may be that you feel you have to say that initially, just so that you start off with truth and honesty on the table. For some of you. Now, Michael... Mm, cars are going crazy. Who is coming in to chase after Aries? Who is coming in to chase after Aries? Ooh, Nine of Swords. Somebody who's very upset. Somebody who may worry that they've lost you for good. Is this somebody suffering with depression? Somebody turning on the tears? Somebody playing victim? Aries, I hate to say that. Who is this person who's rushing after Aries? Who is this person rushing after Aries? Ah, oh, five of wands. They're rushing in. They want to argue with you. They're ready to fight off the competition. This is somebody who is in internal conflict. They are highly stressed. Who is this person? Two of Cups in reverse, somebody who misses you, somebody that felt that you were their person. Oh, wow. Somebody who is fearful. You could be connecting with a Cancerian. This is somebody who simply doesn't want to let you go, Aries. They don't want to let you go. But with the Ace of Swords, this person could have told a lot of lies. This person may still be involved with somebody else, but they don't want you to go. And this is really difficult. What does this person want? The emperor. They want you to marry them. 
They want you, Aries. This may be somebody looking for a father figure. This could be somebody who has daddy issues, you know. This is somebody who may have liked you organising their life for them. Who can't cope without you. This could be an ex. Now, God forbid, it's your person, strong Cancerian energy, who can't handle life without you supporting them, managing their life for them, paying them money to live. You may have done all that, Aries. They want that back. But I don't think this person was honest. And I think you ended it. With the Four of Cups, you are not taking this person back, okay? Oh, double Aries, wow. The Fool in Reverse, you are not taking another leap of faith and a risk with this person. You don't want to go down. You don't want to move into a new cycle with them. You just, you can't face it. You can't face it. Aries, King of Wands, this is you, okay? I think what you're looking at is a decision to move down a new path. You're turning away from the person that wants you back and you're thinking to yourself, no, this is my chance for a brand new life, a fresh clean slate. This is a chance to turn my life around and I am not going to be going back to the past. Yeah, yeah. Three of Cups in reverse. So Aries, this person may have cheated on you. There could have been a one night stand. This person wants to reunite with you, but you felt no joy with this person. This person maybe wanted to stay at home. You wanted to go out. You were on different pages. You were on different pages. Yeah. Four of Swords. This person may have broken your heart. Or this person may have been constantly ill or constantly depressed. And it dragged you down. This is somebody that you had to take care of. This isn't somebody who was going to support you as well. This isn't somebody that you got joy from. This is a never-ending burden. And this is you thinking, yeah, there's no way I'm going back there again. There's no way. Yeah, seven of wands. This is you accepting defeat. You may have tried to hang on to the connection. But this is you thinking, no, I just, I can't do this anymore. I'm just getting a drained energy. What is the energy between these two people? The hermit. So both of you are taking some time to think about what happened in the past. I do think this is somebody that you may be detached from. There could have been someone here who got in the mix. There could have been an affair with a Virgo or you were connected to a Virgo, Aries. But this is someone solitary, left out in the cold, feeling alone. Now, if you did work in another area, this is someone who hated the fact that you weren't with them. And you may not have had a choice. You may have thought, well, I can't have a job in the area that they live in, so I have to go elsewhere to bring money in. And they didn't like it because you may have spent periods of time, months and months and months apart. You felt on your own, they felt on their own, somebody here had an affair and the whole thing crashed. Yeah. All right, now, Four of Pentacles, you're hanging on to your money and I think you are contemplating reaching out to whoever is at the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Swords. But there's a lot of fear in making a decision. I don't know why that came through. About the Queen of Cups, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Because maybe you're afraid with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this person's going to be harsh to say to you, I never want to see you again. Because with the King of Pentacles in reverse, you may not want marriage. I mean, interesting again, because with this card I was going to put there, what you're looking at is either that you're divorced and you don't have any money, you don't have your financial security, and you're worried, given that this person is sat in the Nine of Pentacles, that they're going to mistrust your offer. Or you're nervous that this person is the sort of person who deserves to be offered commitment. This is somebody more than worthy, sat in the Empress in the Nine of Pentacles. This is wife material. 
And you're worried that if you move back towards them to say, well, I haven't got any money and I don't want to get married again, this person may cut you out and say, well, why are you back to me? Why are you coming to me again? You're nervous. As in, I know that I can't offer this person potentially very much. I think they're going to turn me away. That's what you're nervous about. But you're hanging on to the hope that they won't. What else is on Aries' mind? Eight of Pentacles. That you're going to have to work very hard to regain your financial security. And with the energy of the star, this is you needing to heal yourself. So you know it's not quite the right time. Now, for some of you, for some of you, You know that you've healed from a relationship that became stale very quickly. And that's the reason why you don't want to get married again. Maybe you realise marriage is not for you. I never want to get married again because it's just not for me. Maybe if you dealt with very difficult legalities, a big loss of money, it frightened you. And you thought to yourself, OK, after that divorce or whatever this was, I'm never getting married again. But you have someone on your mind you want to approach. You're just nervous that they're going to push you away because you can't offer them long term commitment. I mean, maybe living together. I don't know. But this is you thinking, I want to be with this person, but I don't have much money and I don't ever want to get married again. So you're thinking they're going to say no. I don't know. We'll see. What else has Aries got on their mind? The sun. Maybe you want to approach a Leo. This is you wanting to be happy, wanting progress in your life, wanting just for the wheel to move forward. Yeah, you just want to be happy, Aries. Four of Wands. Maybe you do just want to live with someone in the sunshine. You know, blue skies, children. Maybe that's your dream. I just want a little house in the sun. I don't necessarily want to get married, but we could live together. This may be your ideal situation. All right. So this is what you may put to this empress. The magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You could be moving towards someone sat in the energy of the magician or a Leo. Or you're manifesting your happiness and a beautiful, stable connection. Now, for some of you, given the fact that we've got the emperor, and the Empress, we've got Twin Union, we've got Spiritual Awakening. It could be that you're manifesting getting back together with someone that you believed was your true divine twin flame. And of course, with the Four of Wands, that's 1111. You as a divine masculine are manifesting awakening to move into Twin Union. Very interesting. Okay. What else is Aries manifesting? The Wheel of Fortune. A new cycle where you can rebuild your money. You don't have any legal ties to someone in the future. So your money's safe, ongoing. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, you do want to offer commitment. Aries, I think this is you wanting to settle with someone wanting to commit to someone, but I am feeling living together, not married. Because it may be that you've lost your ten of pentacles and it scared you. And this is you thinking never again. And to safeguard money that you may build up in the future, this is you thinking, OK, I've got to be really sensible here. Yes, I want to be with this Empress stroke nine of pentacles, but if we married and it didn't work out, maybe with this woman, then I'd lose another ten of pentacles. I can't afford to do that. So this is you thinking, well, let's see if this person would be willing to maybe live together, you know. All right. What is going to happen here? What is going to happen here? Of cups. This is beautiful, Aries. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This is what you're wanting. I think you're wanting to reunite with someone that makes you very happy. 
you're wanting to move into a brand new cycle of progress, sitting in the energy of the magician. Let's move to the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay, here we go, guys. Michael, a message, please, from Aries to their person. So I feel we want. I wish I could share my good news with you. Aries, if you knew this person in the past, they may have known that you were in a relationship with somebody else. I think you want to tell this person that you're now single, you've detached, you're available. So many things remind me of you. Aries, I think that you're returning to somebody that you met when you were in a long-term relationship. Could have been a long time ago. Your long-term relationship crashed. You may have lost touch with this person. You're going back to them to let them know that you're now single. But you don't have a lot of money. You're working on your finances. You may not want to get married again in the future. But you're hoping that if there was a divine connection between the two of you, that will be enough for this person to agree to move forward into a new connection with you. Michael, what would this person say to Aries? <laughs> I love you unconditionally. Now that's a twin flame card for me. So it could be Aries, this person loves you, has always loved you. And that is very much what you're going to be thinking about when you come back together with this person to talk to them about the future. OK, so guys, I'm leaving it there. Hope that's helped sending love and light your way. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. Bye, Aries.